Hey everyone, it's Jeannie King and it is day 11 and the very first part of this is going to be a little bouncy because I just scored big on my new chair and it turned out to be chairs and I just wanted to show you, I just got back from San Antonio, isn't this gorgeous? And I'll try to show you, nothing is really set up yet but here's my desk and here is the other chair and look at how gorgeous these are so i got to tell you the story about this you know that i bought that glorious french provincial desk for almost nothing and i kept saying i know the chair will show up well i went to san antonio today to buy a little side table that I had seen at a consignment store last week, and guess what? It was gone, and that's okay, because I have a deal with God. It's like, you know, bless it or block it, and that is a good thing for you to remember, too. Bless it or block it. If it's for me, make it just go easily, and if not, you know, just make it so where I can't miss it, and it was gone. So... <clears throat> I remembered, I thought, that there was one ornate chair there, and I had no idea what it would cost, but I didn't even look at it because it had arms. I didn't think I wanted arms. But when the table wasn't there, I went over and looked at the chair. It turns out there are two chairs, and they had two, each had a 14-inch, almost like a brocade, beautiful down cushions with them. And each of the chairs was marked down to $199. They're glorious, and I'll post some pictures also. And um, then the cushions were two for $38. I was like, are you kidding me? So I asked the woman, I said, you know, I really only need one chair, but you know, I would buy two if I can get a good deal on it. And she said, well, let me just see what we can do about that. And she came back and she said, well, we can sell you each chair for $185, but I have to tell you, they were each marked to 400 not too long ago. So that's a big savings. And you can get the cushions, two of them for $38. So anyhow, with tax, it was $442. Remember I said I think I can find one chair for $400? Two chairs, two cushions. Now, here's where it gets juicy. When we moved from our house to Casa 210, where we are renovating, TXU, the uh, electric company, sent us a customer appreciation card for $500. We were just moving a couple of blocks, but, you know, transferring service. And so I've been taking the $500. I bought a little rug for the little runner for the kitchen, a couple pieces of clothing. And I checked it the other day, and it said there was $200 left. So I told the lady at the consignment store, Here's $200 on here, and then we'll put the, the rest of it, the $242, on my credit card. So I got everything, <clears throat> two ornate, beautiful chairs that look like they're a match set with my desk, and two down cushions, out-of-pocket expenses, $242. So we talked about, is the money game real? Well, yeah. Does it show up in real ways? Uh, yeah. And, you know, the more I hear about people who are clutter clearing, expanding, and making new changes, the more I get excited because we are all in this game together. So what are you finding? Are you having lots of good luck? I've had several people say, you know, I am clearing out my office Several people have said that, you know, with a vengeance. I am getting everything off the, the floors. I am seeing how I tend to hoard things or tend to hoard money or won't give myself permission to uh, own a new car. So, you know what? This is just taking our financial muscle and changing it and exercising it differently. And I want to hear from you. How is this changing you? And it may not always show up in like money in the bank, but you're gonna find serendipitous things, synchronicities, little uh, things that show up, your health, your joy. What is that worth? Your peace of mind? 
What is that worth? So I want you to get into your gratitude and tell me what's going on. So today, $11,000. And so I put two chairs, $370, two cushions, $38 plus tax, $442. Now, it did, it did cost $442, but guess what? The universe, God, had already provided me with $200, but I'm counting it as $442. I'm buying a rug for my new office for $800. So with the 442, it brought the 11,000 down to 10,558. With the $800 rug, 9758. A rug in the great room, $1,700. And a smaller rug in the office, I, I mean in the bedroom, which is included in the 1,700. So it's $8,058. And I've decided that I was going to give some money away to people who are just in my sphere of influence. And I go to our little grocery store all the time, and there's about seven main people. I mean, they have part-time people, but, you know, the checkers, the people who do the, the uh, bakery and the office and the, the uh, produce and the meats. So I'm giving each of the seven main store employees $1,000, so that's $7,000. And that leaves, um, yeah, it leaves $958. I am buying, a, no, I'm buying a new Cuisinart for, $1, for $100, that leaves $958. I'm buying a food vacuum sealer, a nice one, which is $400. So that leaves me $558, and we're going to zip down to Galveston, which is not very far away, for $558, zero balance. And it feels good. And you know what? I love, I love, love, love thinking about how to spend this money and who I can bless with this and how it makes me feel. How does this make you feel? It is all about your feelings. I had a conversation with one of our people uh, the other day, and she was accidentally in a really posh place with a big banking group that had like thousands of people coming for this. And I mean, it was hoity-toity. It was down on the beach. It was fabulous. And I was like, wow. And she was like, yeah, I'm just surrounded by all this abundance. Now, I'm not invited, but you know, I'm surrounded. And I said, well, I just love that about you. And she said, yeah. But I think I need to have some more healing because in my mind I was saying, boy, you're just a bunch of liars and crooks. <laughs> it just it cracked me up. I said, I'm so glad you're on to yourself because we have these old programs. And I said, I would bet you anything they do not see themselves as liars and crooks. I don't. And she said, you know, you're right. She said, they're probably just loving the abundance and the life that they live. And I said, yeah, we're not in charge of everybody else. We're in charge of us. So continue playing. Tell me what you're doing with your $11,000. And giddy up. We're having fun. And we're going to just keep expanding and expanding. Thanks so much for playing. I appreciate you so much.